Hey everybody, welcome back to Royal Tarot Readings. This is my fun channel that I do for tarot readings on the royal family. All information presented in this video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. It's fun. It's tarot. I'm just a gal with cards. Alright, so I hope everyone is doing well today. Um, today I'd like to take a look at the, um, the seemingly just sudden media attack on Catherine, Princess of Wales. Um, it seemed like months ago she could do no wrong. Everything that uh, uh, she did and was and commented on or, or did anything on was praised by the media. She goes into uh, seclusion to recover, and within a month or two time, they're suddenly attacking her. What's behind this? This seems a little bit sus to me. So let's take a look and see what's going on. All right, so today I would like to uh, use a, a brand new tarot deck. This is called the Shadowscapes Tarot Deck by Stephanie um, Pumin Law. Um, really, really pretty mystical tarot deck. I haven't used it before. I actually, okay, I'll take that back. I did actually use it for the Merlin and King Arthur videos. I have not published those yet. Um, I don't think I got a good response to the one that I put out earlier and I'm just I'm gonna wait to publish the other ones let's see how uh, I'm, I'm may redo those I don't know I'm, I'm thinking about it I just wasn't really completely satisfied with the response that I got with the uh, King Richard and Princes in the Tower video I think people are more thinking this is a historical channel instead of a tarot channel um, so I do appreciate everyone appreciate everyone who commented on that I tried to get my history right I didn't want to put too much out there or you guys would I would have overwhelmed you with information that is a very deep complex subject the War of the Roses is a subject that is extremely complex it spans a hundred years so there's no way I could put all that in a video all they wanted to do was present the information to you that was necessary for the tarot reading so if anyone had any other expectations I do apologize all right, so this one is going to be, let's take a look at what is going on with Princess Catherine and the media. All right, so let me get my questions here, and we'll start shuffling. All right, so why is the media attacking Princess Catherine? At first, she could do no wrong, and now suddenly it's just attack after attack after attack. Why are they attacking Princess Catherine? And who's behind the attacks? I started to do some research on Rupert Murdoch, and um, it's amazing how many newspapers and stations he owns around the world. Um, and I'm not going to mention too much about what I found, so I'm just going to let it, the tarot deck tell us. But um, So who's behind the attacks? Go ahead and clear that energy out of the cards there. All right, so who is behind the attacks? And what will the king or Prince William do? Um, how are they going to respond? And then, um, how is Princess Catherine going to respond? I just wonder if she's going to, and how is she going to respond? And then, will the attack stop once Princess Catherine emerges from her recovery? When she suddenly is able to uh, uh, fulfill her, her uh, working world duties again, are they suddenly going to stop attacking her? And, let's see, what's my last question here? Um, will... Well, then, are, are the media going to issue a public apology to Catherine? Are they going to come out and say that they handled this completely, you know, incorrectly, without sensitivity? Well, are, are they going to apologize to her? Or is it just going to be status quo? What's going to happen there? All right. So just a short reading today. We have six questions. We'll do six cards. What do we have here? They have oh, eight of swords. Ooh. Releasing from a trap. Oops, what was this one? Oh, the star. Okay, star in reverse. Okay, that's about loss of hope and faith. Interesting. All right. So one or two more shuffles. We'll do one more. Oops. All right, we're going to go to this one here. We'll go ahead and cut. All right. And we will start our reading. All right, six questions with six cards. All right, and my energy is the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay. All right, so Knight of Wands upright is about... Um, 
rushing forth to uh, um, confront adversity. And in reverse, it's about um, not wanting to rush forth to, uh, 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 how to put this, standing back, assessing the situation, not, not rushing forward right away. Interesting underlying energy. You know, it can also mean um, it can also mean wanting to step back to um, be cautious with your actions, um, uh, being overly confident, and you realize that, and you want to just step back and, and and take a pause. So, all right. What our, our first question is: Why are the media now attacking Princess Catherine? The the emperor, <laughs> the king. They're attacking Princess Catherine because they want to get to the king. They're trying to elicit a response from the king. What? So they realize they've been overly ambitious, overly confident, and they're stepping back because things are getting nasty. They're trying to get some type of response from the king. Well, that's surprising. Okay. And um, who's behind the attacks? Who's behind it? The two of swords. The two people. There are two people who control words. I knew it. There's a, there's a media. There's a media conglomerate out there. It's two people in the media. And they're actually at odds. They're trying to decide which way to go. They're at a crossroads. It's two, two entities who uh, are, are um, who are media conglomerates. Wow. So they've tried attacking her, and at this point they realize they may have gone a bit too far. They were overly confident, overly ambitious, and now they're they're at a crossroads as to which way to go. So why or who's behind the attacks? Two they're there are two very, um, two very big conglomerates out there, and they're at a crossroads as which way to go. Interesting. So honestly, the two people who come to mind are Rupert Murdoch and um, Ari Manuel. And if you if you take a look and Google them, they do have a lot of, uh, they do have a lot of um, business dealings together. So. Too much to go into here, but um, that's who, allegedly, that's who I'm going to say this is. What will the king, how will the king, or what will the king or Prince William do? What, what are they going to do about all this? Ace of swords. Ooh. All right, so they're going to put out a message. They are going to put out their, this is, they're going to try a new strategy with words of their own. They're going to have their own media campaign. Oh, Wow. And they're going to start off slowly. But they're going to, they are actually um, devising their own method of communication now. Because what, what they're doing is not working. Now they have a new idea. And it has a lot of potential. And they're going to be going to go forward with it. Slowly at first, but it's a definite plan for a new way of communicating with the media. Wow. All right, and um, how is Princess Catherine going to respond to all this? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is this is definitely Catherine. It's in reverse, and then look at the look at the almost swollen abdomen here. Isn't that funny? And she had abdominal surgery. I, I still think I've done predictions for her coming up that she's pregnant. I don't know. I just I'm getting that feeling from this card. But how's she going to respond? She's going to respond with anger. She's going to let people know exactly how she's felt during this time that they've attacked her. She will put out a message, and she's going to explain exactly what happened, what's going on, and how they made her feel. And she's not going to mince words. And she's gonna she's gonna be directly going after people who have taken all these pot shots at her. Wow, I'm sorry, I'm not holding these cards. You can see them. Um, 
Wow, this is definitely Princess Catherine right here. She's going to make a statement, and it's not going to be a nice one. She's not going to mince words. Wow. All right, and will the attack stop once Princess Catherine emerges from her recovery? The Magician. Wow, what a powerful card. They will, um, they will continue uh, subtly, very behind the scenes, secretly, um, with some power. Um, the Magician gives you all the tools that you need to get for your hopes and dreams to come true. Um, I think they will stop directly attacking her because they've taken this pause back now and they've realized they've gone too far. And um, so they're going to use different words, sweet words, uh, um, words that may serve them better. Not because they don't want to attack her anymore, but because it doesn't serve them anymore to attack her. Oh, wow. So I think direct attacks will, attacks will stop, but uh, subtle ones will continue. And it's over the Two of Swords, so it's because, and they're still, they're actually still deciding how they're going to handle it, because they can go in two directions, but they're not going to continue on the one they're on. And I just noticed the Queen of Pentacles is over the Emperor. She's going to make us, we'll go back to the other question, um, how is she going to respond? She's going to respond um, not nicely, and it's going to be with so the support of the King. Okay, all right. And then, finally, will the media issue a public apology to Catherine? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, what an interesting card. All right, so upright Six of Pentacles is about reciprocity, giving and receiving, uh, quid pro quo, you do this for me, I'll do that for you. And in reverse, it's about... It's, uh, it's it's out of balance. One person is giving more than the other. I think they may be forced to. Because she's going to stop giving to them. I think she's going to really pull back on any public pictures. All the sweet interactions she's had with the press. That's going away. They took it too far. And she's not going to forget it. Quid pro quo is done. She's not playing their game anymore. Until they apologize. So, are they going to issue an apology? If they want to, if they want her to have quid pro quo with them again, they're going to have to. And if they don't, she won't play their game anymore. So it's up to them. I think when they start losing money, because it's about money, when they start um, not reaping the rewards anymore. They will issue an apology because they won't be making any, any money off of her. That's part of the new idea. Okay, the new idea is we're not playing your game anymore. You want to, And I had this in the other reading too. You want to make money off of us? You better play our game or we're, we're not playing. We're not going to be a part of this anymore. That's part of their new strategy. Wow. Good for them. Allegedly. <sighs> All right, my goodness. Okay, so let's wrap this up real quick. Um, why are the media now attacking Catherine? It had something to do. They were trying to get some kind of response from the king. They wanted they wanted a, a statement from the palace, I'd say. Because they weren't getting any information about her. And it, they, they couldn't stand it. So they were trying to elicit a response. And who's behind the attacks? Two media companies, two media conglomerates, and they've actually, they're at a crossroads now because they realize that what they've gone too far, and now they're trying to figure out which way to go. And what is the, the king or Prince William going to do? They have a new communication strategy that they're about to unleash, and it has a great potential of working. And will the attacks stop? Oh, I'm sorry, and how will, how will, uh, how will Catherine respond? This is her card, Queen of Pentacles, in reverse. She's going to respond with um, cold energy, anger, saying, this is what you did to me. This is what happened when you issued your attacks on me. She's going to make them feel the pain that she felt. And it's going to have the support of the king. And then will the attack stop once Princess Catherine emerges from her recovery? Um, the, the direct attacks will stop. 
I think some subtle attacks may still occur behind the scenes in, in very like tongue in cheek, not tongue tongue in cheek, but um. Remember, um, remember Sue Ann, what was her name from the Mary Tyler Moore show? Um, Betty White played her. She gave you words with poison sweetness. And um, uh, there was never any doubt about how they fell, but it was said very sweetly. I think that's the energy that's going to happen at first. So I think they will, the attacks will stop at first, but there's still going to be a little underlying dig to it. And then um, is the is the press going to issue a public apology to Catherine? And I think that if they want... Sorry, I actually lost my breath. I had to take a quick break there for a second. <laughs> um, is the media going to issue a public apology to Catherine? Um, they're not going to want to at first, but they're going to start to lose money because they realize that the quid pro quo with the, with the palace is over. And if they want to continue to make money off of the royal family, they're going to have to issue an apology to her. And that's part of this new strategy that the palace is going to come out with. You want to play? You're going to play our game. We're not doing it one way anymore. We're not doing it where we give you what you want and you um, then can turn on us like this. No, that old way of doing things is done. So they're going to have to if they want to keep making money off the royal family. Very interesting. Well, good. Good for them. For the palace, I mean. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think of this reading in the comments below. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I will have another video coming out later. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with the videos that I recorded. Um, I may publish one more and see how it does. If it doesn't have a good response, then I just, I'll just i scrap the others. Um, anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're a subscriber, why thank you so much. I have so many new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Please feel free to watch other videos. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. And if you're not a subscriber, well, you need to subscribe. Press that, no that, that <laughs> Press the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you won't miss any videos. Thank you so much, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of the day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.